when Darth Mar and I faced Valkorion, we knew right away. He was the Sith Emperor, Lana. I know. When he was struck down, it released ripples through the Force. Everyone who had felt the Sith Emperor's presence in the past, on Zyast, on Yavin 4, we all sensed what had happened. Arkan invaded soon after, claiming that an outlander had assassinated his father, the immortal Emperor. It didn't take long for us to unravel the truth. Which side did Arkan attack first? Both. Ships from the Eternal Fleet struck at shipyards and rallying points for both sides simultaneously. They favored ambush tactics throughout the war. Zakulan sensor technology has far greater range than our own, and their ships can fly much further on less resources. Only vessels retrofitted with Isotope 5 could manage to outrun them. None could truly compete. How long did the Republic and the Empire manage to hold out? Within three months, the bulk of our naval forces were disabled or eliminated, and the Republic was in the same situation. With naval superiority, Arkham's forces could begin choking off supply lines, trade, any ship travel at all. The Eternal Fleet seemed to be everywhere at once. Coruscant and Drummond Cast were blockaded by the end of the first year. How did it end? The members of the Dark Council fought Arkan's invasion ruthlessly and lost. The Empire's treaty was ultimately negotiated by the Minister of Logistics. Chancellor Suresh also refused to discuss surrender, but the Republic Senate managed to overrule her. A cadre of senators negotiated their own ceasefire terms. All of those senators have since been disgraced or dismissed. I'm sure you can imagine the likely culprit. What about the Jedi Order? I know that they suffered heavy losses. But that's the extent of my information. I've sent agents to find out more, but none have returned. I wish I had more to tell you. So far, the treaties with Zakul have held. But that will not last forever. A freshwater spring. It should be safe for drinking. So the Eternal Fleet overwhelmed both the Republic and the Empire? What was the result? Both sides are forced to pay a heavy tribute to Zakul, mainly raw materials and resources. They're also held under an arms limitation statute. The Empire and the Republic are both breaking it, of course, but they're still incapable of challenging the throne directly. Who's in charge of the Republic now? Suresh reached the end of her term limits recently, but her replacement is a carefully selected puppet. She still runs things, even if she isn't officially the Chancellor anymore. And the Empire? Only one member of the Dark Council remained after the chaos. Darth Asina. She now rules as Empress of the Sith. Both sides see this only as an opportunity to eliminate one another at a time of weakness, instead of combining what strength they have. Arkan does nothing to prevent violence between them, so long as their tribute is paid and no one challenges Zakul's superiority. I'm surprised Arkan didn't try to destroy both governments. He obviously had the firepower. I don't think Arkan feels any desire to actually govern our portion of the galaxy. For now, he sees it as a backwater, useful only for resources. Powerful Zakulan battle stations have been placed in orbit around key worlds to watch for possible uprisings. But there are no ongoing planetary occupations. The ships of the Eternal Fleet simply patrol at random, while the tribute paid to Zakul gradually chokes all economic potential. What about my team? My ship? I have allies looking for them as we speak. With all of the chaos of the last few years, though, it will take time to find them all. For now, we make do with ourselves, Koth, and HK. As long as you're here, there's nothing we can't handle. The feeling's mutual. It truly is a relief to see you again. Is that why you went to so much trouble to rescue me? Before you were captured, you accomplished things no one else dared to attempt. You changed the galaxy more than once. And if things have ever needed to change, now is the time. But... 
There is something else. Uh, I've felt it since the moment I found you in Carbonite. There's a power in you. Something new. It's elusive, but I know it's there. I think you're right, Lana. I think the Emperor, Valkorion, is in my mind. What? After he died, there was a storm of energy. I barely even remember being thrown into the carbon freezing chamber. And then, while I was frozen, I saw things. Dreamed about him, about everything that happened while I was gone. It can't be. If you were controlling you, I'd know it. I certainly saw enough of it on Zyost. I don't think he's trying to control me. Not directly, anyway. He was trying to convince me to work with him. Whatever he's doing, we can be sure that he's always trying to deceive us somehow. I believe in you. And I appreciate your honesty. I'll remain watchful for any influence he might have over you. For the time being, though, we have no choice but to proceed. What about the others? They wouldn't understand. And like you said, we really don't know anything for sure yet. Let's keep the matter between us for now. How minimal? Reassurance. Only one Sky Trooper and three local predators with poor survival instincts. Our position appears to be secure at this time, but I would still advise caution on your return trip, Masters. Keep up the good work, HK. Appreciation. It will be my pleasure to do so, Master. Destiny, I ditch all these parts before we crash. We find the gravestone, and then what do we need to get it flying? Honestly, it's plain as day. Not for Lana, though. For her, it's all just skill and luck and coincidence. I'm with you. Things always end up going my way. There's really no other explanation. Let's hope that includes taking down Arkin. Lana's told me about all the things you've done, more than once. Half the reason I agreed to this crazy rescue was to see if you were actually real. So, I figure I know all about your past. You deserve to know mine. Lana might have told you I was the captain of a warship during Arkin's campaign against the Core Worlds. My crew and I deserted, but I'm not going to pretend we didn't do our share of damage beforehand. Just thought you should hear it from me. Lana mentioned that you deserted instead of following orders. What was the order? We were holding territory on Denon. Locals rioted, and orders were to open fire until they stopped. None of us even wanted to be there. Massacring civilians? That's not how Sakul is supposed to operate. Thank you for being honest with me. You and your crew made the right choice. Glad you think so. One more thing, as long as we're being honest. When you risked your life to shut that generator down, you showed me that you're someone I can count on. I want to take Arkin down, but we don't have to take down all of Sakul with him. I'm glad to know you understand that, too. Too many innocent people have suffered already. I'm not going to add to that. Thank you. Come on. Let's get this stuff back to the gravestone. Breakfast. Please rendezvous at my current coordinates at your earliest convenience, Masters. I require assistance. Plastic droid. Save us! What the hell is going on here? What did you do to them? Protestation. I have done nothing to these pitiable meatbags, Master. They were merely bystanders when I destroyed a group of sky troopers. <laughs> they requested our help in escaping the enemy's notice. Please, we are no danger to you. We were exiled for protesting Emperor Arkhan's war. We've already lost two of our friends. Please, is there anything you can do for us?
We are repairing a ship with room for passengers. We can get you out of here. You're serious? That's incredible. Thank you. Thank you so much. We're doing the right thing. Thank you. You're sure we can make it fly again? She'll fly. Just been waiting for somebody to come along and remind her how. Let's get to work then.
I take it you have questions. Don't be so surprised. Where you go, I go. We are indivisible now. The gravestone. Not entirely what I'd envisioned. Did you guide us here? The real question to ask is, why are we here? You have had a taste of my son's empire, his reach, and Valen. She does not believe in respect. We can only defeat Arkham if we work together. I'll hear you out. Thank you. It's simple, really. You must be willing to accept my help for what it is. And you will have to come to this acceptance sooner than you think. Get ready for a fight, people! They found us! Sky Troopers breaching the entrance! That's just the first wave. They have more on the way. I'll head them off. The gravestone will be ready soon. I just need... Don't say three minutes. Buy me some time. I'll get us airborne. I'm with you. HK, stay behind and help cough. Until I say so. Don't touch anything. did say there were more on the way. Something I've learned to count on regarding Arkhan. There will always be more. There are too many! We have to keep fighting. Hey! You two need a hand out there? No. We have help. You what? You're late. You got one of the knights to switch sides? Not all of us blindly follow Arkin. More resistance, knights. Hi, Justice. We have the Outlander. I do hope you're up to fighting your own, Senya. My issue isn't with them. But if they're going to stand in my way... I see you found another pragmatist. Stow the chatter. Prove you can fight. Get out of here! Save yourself! What is this? An opportunity. You are outmatched. Death is all but certain for your Sith friend. I could save her. I only require the briefest moment of control. Accept my help. Or watch her die. Choose quickly. Time has not stopped. Take care of it. Gladly. Was that... Him? 
him. The power at your disposal. I was coming to help, but looks like you didn't need it. Is the gravestone ready for takeoff? Far as I can tell. Looks like we've got everyone. Let's go. No, wait. Where's Senya? Excuse me? Where's who? Here I am. Let's move out. Whoa, wait a minute. Hang on. She's your help? If you think I'm letting that piece of work on my ship, you're out of here. Interjection. Many more hostiles are approaching. Permission to defend with extreme prejudice. No more fighting. We must leave Zakul. I'll prep the engines. Be ready to move. The ship will never pull itself up from the muck. We'll have to give it a push. Firing up the engines. I hope. We can do this. Concentrate. Feel the force as it ripples through you. Glad you worked that out. Now get in here so we can finally get moving. How about that? My gravestone can move. Where are we going? Somewhere safe. Incoming! Dropping out of hyperspace! It's... it's a lot! The Eternal Fleet. They aren't firing. Okay, ship. What are you waiting for? about that hyperdrive. Lana, work the shields. And we need a gunner. I'll take care of it. Omni cannons up. There's a capital ship near the center. I see it. Good. Now hit it. real. We could take the whole fleet. Statement. The hyperdrive now meets minimum functionality requirements. Why didn't you say so? Alright, let's get out of here. More than two dozen ships lost in a single shot. So that's the gravestone. As powerful as they say. Everything stands at risk. Sakul, the throne, my vision for the galaxy. All because we let the Outlander slip away. I'm not blaming you. I didn't think you were. Father held us all back. You more than any. Such raw power. And yet you're still spreading your wings. Finding your limits. Nice to be appreciated for a change. So, what now? Now, I act. No, no, no! 
What's happened? The hyperdrive worked. One time. Omni cannons fried too. What a mess. We're safely away from the fleet, if nothing else. Should be able to make it to Asylum, but let's not hold our breath. What is this Asylum place, and why are we going there? Asylum is a skyport. A safe haven from Arkin's patrols. Was she really necessary? She helped us raise the gravestone. She fought at our side. She also hunted me like an animal for years. She was Arkin's loyal knight. I thought I was in service to Zakul. You had abandoned your responsibilities. It sounds like you're both on the same side now. Whatever history you have, it's best to let it go. You don't know what she's capable of. You weren't there. Do they know what you're capable of, Vortana? If anybody needs me, I'll be somewhere. You could have at least consulted with me first. Yes, I wonder how that might have gone. Absolutely! I'd be glad to fix the gravestone by myself. Your display of power, it concerns me. Deeply. I hope you've considered that its use must come at a cost, a very personal cost. I wasn't about to let you die. No life is worth risking total corruption. Valkorin may prove to be of some use, but he's no less dangerous than when he was alive. That's why we need all the help we can get, and Senya will be a great help. I hope you can see that. She's a good fighter. She helped us raise the gravestone. I'd say she's an asset. And she doesn't give up, either. That was clear the first time I encountered her. We met shortly after I arrived in Wild Space. Senya was hunting Koth. I was hoping to learn your fate. We exchanged what information we could. This was all before I really knew Koth, of course. Years ago. You were looking for me all that time. In spite of our differences, you're my ally. I would even venture to call you my friend. I've always seen the potential for something more between us. I won't lie, the thought has crossed my mind. On more than one occasion. Uh, I was looking for a... Hyperdrive Matrix Processor Assembly. You probably haven't seen one in here. I'll keep looking. You may want to look in on Koth. And you should get to know Senya. I'm not sure if you'll hit it off exactly, but I think you'll find her intriguing. Why can't there be a maintenance manual? Hey, can you get the power? Right over there. Thanks. Wouldn't want to electrocute myself on top of everything else. She's really something, this ship. But no one's been taking care of her. You've grown attached rather quickly. No offense, but it's the gravestone that will save the galaxy from Arkham. Not me. Not me. Definitely not Senya. What did Senya do to earn this grudge? She was ruthless. After we deserted, she hunted us for months. Everyone on my crew bled more than once on account of her. I put all my trust in Lana and she goes to Senya for help. She does not know what she's getting us into. You really care about Lana, don't you? Right. The part I was looking for? That was... I have been known to make a fool of myself now and then. It's not like you're thinking. We've worked together for years. She saved my life more times than I can count. So I do what I can to return the favor. If that means storming into the Spire to pull some Outlander out of Carbonite, well, that's what I'll do. I'd be a frozen carcass if you hadn't. I have a good feeling, you know. We'll get Arkin. I should get back to it. Need to be sure the Gravestone can get us all the way to Asylum. Hey, if Senya shines that narrow spotlight of hers on you, check your shadow. Query. 
Has the meatbag bickering finally exhausted itself? Were you eavesdropping? Correction, I was monitoring activity in order to ensure everyone's safety, Master. Report, I have taken the liberty of checking in on your band of refugees. Assessment, they have quickly taken to their new lodging arrangements. I have warned them not to stray from their chosen location. Analysis, there are many sealed passageways, and I am unable to detect what may be on the other side. Worth looking into at some point? Revelation. I discovered an especially strange area. Unlike anywhere else on the gravestone, I had attempted to ascertain if any of its contents could be weaponized, but the new meat bag interrupted. Query, any orders, Master? Make sure Lana has everything she needs. Assurance. I will endeavor to see to her right away. <laughs> I know. I couldn't help but take this place in either. Reminds me of a song I wrote. I'd like to hear that. Just a few bars. Without accompaniment? I'm not that brave. You seem nothing at all like the person I met in the swamp. Being a knight means everything. But I don't let it define me. When it's time to go to work, I'm who I need to be. The rest of the time, I'm just myself. You don't strike me as all that different. What do you mean? I get the feeling you aren't entirely yourself when matters call for it. I think that's true of a lot of people. I like to think it's even true of Arkin. I know why I oppose him. What's your reason? Years after the death of our immortal Emperor, most are still so afflicted with remorse that they don't see what's happening. Arkin has become oppressive and cruel. He'll crush anyone who doesn't share his plan for the galaxy. So that's me. What about you? Arkin wants to lay waste to everything I've fought for and accomplished. I won't let him. Neither will I. I may not know much of the worlds you've inhabited, but I do know what he's doing to them. You're not what I expected. Not sure if that's good or bad yet. But I do know I'll have an easier time with you than Koth. I hope you'll try to get along. The more we work together, the better off we'll be. Just because he betrayed our enemy doesn't change the fact that he was a traitor. You need to be cautious. Valkorion lives. He is not himself, nor has he taken a new body. It is difficult to see, and yet it is unmistakable. His presence in the Force has always been deceptive. Like on the Yavin moon. Yes, and many times before and since. Even when my life depended on it, I did not see him properly until it was too late. Approaching Asylum. Told you we'd make it. We haven't docked yet. I should probably figure out how to land this thing. You're sure that place is safe? We need allies as much as safety. That shadow port isn't on any chart. It's a haven for refugees fleeing Arkans forces. We'll be among friends. Mostly. Tell your associates we've arrived. They knew that days ago. You want to explain how? Figures. Senya's here to help. That's all we need to know right now. Why should my opinion matter? I'm only flying the ship. Demand. Are we there yet?
thought it's through. Mighty fine ship you got there. We'll be coming aboard. If there's one thing I don't like, it's uninvited guests. Ha! Captain! Outlander, my crew. The best engine burners in wild space. You could have introduced them sooner. This was more fun. Get up here, you mangy woolocks. You know who I am, don't you? Name's Rollo. I served aboard Darth Mars destroyer. We thought you died with him. Disappear for five years, and the whole galaxy loses faith in you. Not the whole galaxy. You saved my skin that day. Never thought I'd get to say thanks. Glad you made it out. Nice to see a familiar face. I imagine this is all pretty weird for you. Raylo! Get in here! On my way! I'm not the only one hiding things. We share on a need-to-know basis. Koth's crew didn't need knowing. Do you trust them? Yes. I wish they bathed more often, but you get used to it. I need to make contact with my network, alone. Try to stay out of trouble. Where's Lana? Excellent question. My best engineer hasn't come back from a supply run to the Free Zone. It's a dodgy neighborhood if you catch my drift. A black market. Rival syndicates disagree over who controls it. They argue with blasters. I think she's in trouble, but we've got our hands full keeping the Gravestone's reactor stable. Give me a hollow of your crewmate and point me to this Free Zone. I'll handle the rest. Addendum. I will join you, master. My engineer's name is Tora. HK has her image in its databanks. She won't be hard to find. Tora has a big personality. She's surlier than a hungry rancor, but she's the best engineer you'll ever meet. Thanks for the help. And when you're done, find me these coordinates. I'll introduce you to my people. Help me find Kot's engineer, and we can go together. I'll join you, but not now. Just knocked. My men spent hours on that barricade. I'll remember that on my next visit. <laughs> Identification. That snort issued from the brilliant engineer we were sent to rescue, Master. What she to you? She's the reason I'm here. This doesn't have to get messy. Let her go, and I'll be on my way. You eliminated my old rival, Argo. That inclines me toward gratitude. But this girl tried to rob me. That's bad for business. Charging 50,000 credits for a hundred thermal detonators? That's robbery. You also insulted my mother. I said she's uglier than a bantha wearing lipstick. It's not an insult if it's true. <laughs> my mother died putting me on a refugee ship to Narshada. I grew up an orphan. Oh, boo, who didn't? Join the club. You see why I have to kill her? I, I 
recognize that insignia on your armor. Republic Special Forces, Havoc Squad. Haven't run with that outfit for a long time. I'd paint over the symbol, but it still comes in handy, even out here. And I know who you are, too. Everyone said you were dead, but I knew better. What do you say we show each other professional courtesy? I can get you all kinds of things, but I need to throw this thieving scum out an airlock first. Theory. It will be a challenge to throw anything without your arms. You're both being ridiculous. We can resolve this disagreement without a fight. Let her go and apologize for threatening her. Tora, you apologize for trying to steal his merchandise. Pay him what he wants. I ain't sorry for nothing! Fine. Sorry I insulted your mother. What? I, I didn't catch that. I'm sorry. Your mother was a nice lady, okay? Wrong. She was the best. Now give me my credits. Done. Where's my apology? Shipment's on its way. Sorry, we almost stopped doing business. See you folks around. I've never apologized to anyone in my life. Then just say thank you and get to the docks. Koth and the others are waiting. Thank you. Redirection. We should proceed to the rendezvous with Senya Master. Right on time. My friends have been looking forward to this. I don't see anyone. Are they invisible or very small? They're inside. Koth was right. We can't trust you. Your droid is not a part of what must happen here. I spent five years stuck in one trap. I won't fall into another. You are free to leave whenever you like. But if you want the help of my allies, you'll stay. We've come this far. Let us see where it leads. Betray me, Senya. Before Arkin's betrayal, Sakul was protected by two orders. The Knights, and Scions who see visions of the past and future. Scions no longer serve Arkin. Whether they serve you will be determined now. Fate is a tale whispered to us by the Force, but the voices are silent about you. We must know why. Perhaps together we can reveal the future. If we are to aid your rebellion, we must understand what role you play in Arkhan's defeat. We will test you physically and spiritually to pierce the veil and see the truth. I'll do what I have to. As will we. I tie my fate to yours. I join you in these trials, come what may. The heart of Skyve is heavy with loss. In her pain, we lash out. I do miss the old ways of Zakul. Such mythology and pageantry. Please, defend yourselves. If there's another test, let's continue. Hunger. Overconfidence. You were more tolerant in the Free Zone. 
Despite the fools you suffered, you were watching me. We're always watching. Arkhan took away years of your life, but he stole far more from the rest of us. Do you feel anything for those who suffered while you slept? No one deserves what Arkhan's done. But he's earned what's coming, and I'll make sure he gets it. And you, Senya, what do you feel? Shame. Because you failed to protect our immortal Emperor? I was in no position to do that. What of the Scions who were slaughtered by your fellow knights because Arkhan demanded it? Do you feel responsible for them? When I joined the knights, they were shields protecting our home world. Now they are weapons wielded by an insane child. Senya, could we reason with the knights? Bring them over to our side. The blood on their hands cannot be washed away with reason. The knights should have rebelled against Arkin. Instead, we have lost our honor. The eyes of Esne claim what can never belong to her. They speak of envy, my son's weakness. Do not let it be yours. We receive no pleasure from this trial, but we act as fate demands. Be strong, but Outlander. Of such negotiations, destiny is merely the conduit for our will. It's a miracle this thing hasn't exploded a thousand times over after what you put it through. It's not a miracle if it's meant to be. I'm living proof that all you need is faith. Aha. Uh -huh. I'd say you're living proof that Miss Spooky Eyes is a lot more patient than she looks. Isn't there anything you still need to fix around here? Nope. I'm just too good at my job. I found HK wandering asylum with no memory of anything since he left. Whew. I mean... That's probably bad. Where's the Outlander? Exactly. Senya wanted your friend and HK to meet her contacts. She gave them coordinates to the location. Apology. I have no such data stored in memory. Senya, I knew it. I believe her contacts are the real danger. HK, what's the first thing you remember after you woke up? You seek to remove Arkhan from the Eternal Throne, as well you should. His destiny is to fall. We have foreseen that much, but his final fate remains unclear. When he is at your mercy, what will you do? Death is not always the answer. Even for a man like Arkhan, there are other ways to atone. Arkin will not escape justice for the lives he's taken. A thousand scions lie dead because of him. Blood calls out for blood. Do you agree? Answer us! They question her commitment to them because they cannot foresee it. Ask yourself why. If you are not with us, you stand against the tides of destiny. Arkhan and Valen must die. Justice can take many different forms. You'll do what's right when the time comes. If you will not reveal your true self, you leave me no choice. I will know your fate, even if I must tear you open to see it. Argument 
moment with you is pointless and destructive. I can end this without any more bloodshed. If you accept the gift of my power. I'll handle him myself. And stop wasting time. Reveal his fate. Do not judge him harshly. This trial was necessary for all of us. We need the Scions. If the Scions still want to help us, I accept. Stand down now! You heard the lady. Every moment since you entered, even this one, was predestined. Everyone here played the role fate assigned them. I ask you a final question. What future do you see for this galaxy when Arkhan and his eternal fleet are gone? Arkhan may have struck a blow at the Republic, but I still believe in its ideals. The Republic is weak. The only way it can serve the galaxy is to fade away. You have nothing further to reveal. I now know what blinded us to the future. Our immortal Emperor lives inside your mind. It couldn't stay secret forever. You knew about this and didn't tell me? We thought you'd panic if I said, hey, Emperor Valkorion's living inside my head. Analysis. Scan reveals no evidence you possess a secondary personality matrix, Master. It is possible your brain is simply malfunctioning. Our duel gave me a glimpse of what's to come. You will destroy the Eternal Throne, but... many will suffer before that victory. Tell me who suffers, and I'll do what I can to avoid it. What must be, will be. Doesn't matter. We win. If Emperor Valkorion lives because of this Outlander, there's hope for Zakul. Your beloved immortal Emperor is a threat to all life everywhere. We must find a way to separate you from him. Maybe. Someday. Until then, we've got a war to fight. We have a lot to discuss. Not here. I passed your tests. Join us or don't. Either way, we're done. There is one truth left to reveal. I withheld the true reason I followed you through the trials. To understand the Outlander. Who will destroy Arkin and Valen? My son and daughter. <laughs> she told you. How delightful! <laughs> You're certain she helped them? I killed three knights to make sure they weren't lying. And another three because I hate odd numbers. The Outlander escaped in the gravestone with our mother's help. She's against us. Fenya was always strong-willed. That's why father loved her. Do you think she knows he's alive? Has she betrayed us for him? It doesn't matter. She'll return to us. We'll face the consequences. We don't need them. Our parents gave us the power to forge the future. They should have known we'd use it.